to Banner Made by Russell Ray from uh, Hancock. That's Russell on the left with the hat on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And that's you? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being there. <laughs> Yeah, we left that great uh, thing. that banner chained to a fence at at that at the base there when we uh, when we left there. Um, yeah, Bruce, can you say something about the status of that Hanoko base? The status of the, the runway the, development there at that base? Yeah, is has it been completed? No, no, there's still a long way to go, but. They're continuing to work on it. They're beginning to uh, have dramatic impact on the coral reefs in Oro Bay because of all the dredging and other operations they're doing there. Uh, maybe you already talked about that they wanted to use the uh, landfill um, where people were buried, their bones, all that stuff in the Battle of Okinawa during the end of World War II. And they want to use that to fill in uh, some of the areas in the water to, you know, create the airfield. People, you know, just outraged mm -hmm. over that. Wow. It's just incredible. But no, I, 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 if I could just say, I think the biggest story about this whole thing in my mind was when we were there, the people told us, this was during the Obama administration, and they told us that they asked repeatedly for a meeting with the US ambassador to Japan. And I don't know if you all know who at that time was the ambassador, but it was Carolyn Kennedy. And people assumed that she would be very open because she's quote unquote, a liberal Democrat. and uh, so she never responded to any of their numerous requests for a meeting to discuss the situation. So that really, for me, really underscored how much uh, these, these uh, bases and the, the expansion of these bases, particularly surrounding Russia and China today, are a bipartisan effort by the two parties in Washington. 